Hey everybody, welcome to Calvary Family Time, a short midweek video to remind you that you're not alone and that you're a part of something larger than yourselves. We're glad that you are a part of our family. It's been a little bit warmer here in New Jersey, but there's still snow on the ground. And as we'll see in today's children's message with Dr. Barnes, he's in a much warmer place. However, that doesn't mean that he and Mrs. Barnes are disconnected from the Calvary community. In fact, they're very connected, caring about us even from a distance. Watch this. Well, hello, kids. It's good to be with you again. If you can tell, you probably can tell that we're not in New Jersey. We've been watching the weather up there. It's been pretty cold and a lot of snow, but we've been settled down here in Florida for a few weeks and really enjoying the most of the nice weather down here. But we're, we kind of miss you up there and we were so happy a couple of weeks ago when we saw so many of you young people actually joined the church. And that just brought a, just a great joy to our hearts because we've known many of you since you were born and to see you coming to faith and wanting to be a member of the church, realizing that you're sinners and that Jesus died for you, it just really touches our hearts. So we rejoice with you that that's happened and we pray for you. And it makes me think of a verse that I was talking to somebody here at our resort and we were discussing some things and this person reminded me of a passage in Psalms 37 that King David wrote and it says the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord and he delights in his way and he says so you fall you'll not be cast down because the Lord upholds you with his hand and that's so true and I want to remind you what that means it means even though you say you're a Christian now God has directed all of this to happen and he's controlling our lives and we acknowledge that we're sinners. We don't want to sin, but we're still going to do it. He's directing our paths, but sometimes we'll fall. And sometimes when we fall, we fall really hard. But when we're trusting in Jesus, we can also believe that he forgives us of our sins and he's upholding us. That's such a blessing to us when we do something to know that God will not forsake us. When we profess our faith in him, he is there for us and we can trust in him even when we fall on our face we can get up because of our trust in him because he loves us he died for our sins those very sins that we'll commit tomorrow and the next day jesus died for those sins on our behalf when we trust in him so we're thankful that we saw so many of you join the church the other day and we pray for the rest of you and our family at calvary we miss you and we trust in god's blessing until we get to see you again so long. Thanks, Dr. Barnes. We're grateful for your continued ministry among us, even from a distance. Being at a distance is even easier than it's ever been because of technology, but if you're in the area, and if you're able to, we'd love to have you join us in person on Sunday morning. Our worship services are at 8.30 or 10.15. If you're not able to join us, then we will be, of course, continuing to live stream our 10.15 service on our YouTube channel. One way or another, I hope that you will connect with us this Sunday morning. We're going to be looking at the repentance of King David after his spectacular sin. And we'll see how God uses repentance as the means by which his forgiveness and his grace is applied in our lives. It's an important concept for us to understand. Because while we feel appropriate sorrow for our sin, God always puts with that a celebration of his grace and his goodness towards those who repent of that sin. We're going to see some of that contrast between sorrow and joy this week. We'll be talking about repentance and we'll be talking about sorrow for sin, but we're also going to hear a really exciting ministry update from one of the missionaries that we support. God is always at work in the midst of his world, redeeming that which is broken. I hope you'll join us on Sunday to help us celebrate just that. Have a great rest of your week.